Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The shadow button, located towards the right end of the drawing toolbar, is a really neat effect. This option allows you to apply a shadow to many of the objects that you can draw or insert. Things like word art, some types of auto shapes, all of the basic shapes like ovals and rectangles, and even lines can all have shadows applied to them. This can really enhance the appearance of the graphics in your document. So to use this button, you would just select the object to which you want to apply the shadow first. Then click the shadow button on the drawing toolbar. From the pop-up menu that appears, you would then pick the shadow style that you want to apply to the object. Word then applies that selected style to the selected object. If you change your mind, you can click on it and choose a different style from the pop-up. Or you could always choose No Shadow at the top of the pop-up menu to remove an object to which you had applied a shadow effect that you didn't like. Now, although it's a nice effect, you may also want to do a little bit more with your shadow. So to further enhance the effect, keep the object to which you've applied the shadow selected, and then click the shadow button again. This time, choose the shadow settings command from the submenu to cause the shadow settings toolbar to appear. And usually, this toolbar can only be accessed through this method. But it does allow you to turn the shadow on or off using the first button nudge the shadow's position up, down, left, or right. So you can use this to place it where you would really want it to appear. The final button allows you to change the shadow's color using the drop-down. When you're finished modifying your shadow, just close the shadow settings using the little X at the right end of the toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.